Hello. Well, um, I live in a stone house with thick walls, and I've been having a bit of trouble with the doorbell lately, because you see, the walls are just too thick to carry, well, for the sand to get round, and doorways and everything. And it's quite a big house, and even with these little wireless bells, this is our old one, by the way, we couldn't, the signal was struggling to get round the house. And we've had, several, we've had several incidents where people have been at the door and haven't been able to hear, well, we haven't been able to hear the doorbell. So, uh, just to give you an idea, this is what the old one was. Yeah, as you can see, it's not very loud at all. It's quite quiet, and the further away we put this, you know, it just gets less reliable so I made my own and you know this is going to be a, a lot better so I came up with this so I've got a compressor here air compressor powering two air horns as you can see there this is going to be the best doorbell we've ever had and of course I've got all my electronics so that's a computer power supply that a friend gave me, and some relays and capacitors and other stuff to make it all work. And then it's paired, all this wire goes to the door. That's the front door there. Right, so um, this one you can pretty much hear all around the house, which is quite good. And uh, I I'm pretty sure this is from an old ambulance. This, uh, uh, well, it um, it automatically alternates between high and low. So, well, you see my, what I mean later. Now, I sh I will give you a demonstration. Now, let's jump outside. Okay, we're outside, and that is the button there. See the wire going in the side. Let's see. Okay, well the door blocks quite a lot of the noise from here, but if I open the door, you should be able to hear. As you can see it's quite loud. Um, yeah. <laughs> so it makes a nice tune, goes high to low, and um, I've done with all the electronic timing, so you should press and it does just about high and low but if you keep it pressed in it just carries on forever as you can see so um I hope you like my improvised doorbell made from scrap wood old bits out of my workshop and this that I bought from £15 believe it or not altogether the compressor and air horns yeah so uh thanks for watching mm -hmm.